I, I would have thought this would be common sense, but I feel a responsibility to say it anyway because of tonight's movie. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you purchase a brand new house to move in, okay, and the previous owner or tenant Leave some things behind. It is most advantageous if you don't mess with those things, especially if they have pentagrams on them. The cinematic class is about to begin. Your professor is in. Greetings, salutations, and other sundry affair. I am your cinematic professor and a purveyor of truth in movies. And tonight's lesson plan is a little scare fest called The Gin. You know, <laughs> this is not a bad little horror movie. I got to tell you that uh, what they do in this thing is... Uh, Naturally, you have people moving into the house, and as I alluded to in the teaser open, uh, they find this uh, the, uh, item that is covered with, it's a book, and it's covered with pentagrams and what have you. And So naturally, the very inquisitive female must open it up, you know, it's a, the whole Pandora thing uh, come to life again. Uh, and, and what happens is, once this demon is unleashed, um, it takes on the physical appearance of uh, folks who used to live in that house. Now, when the new uh, people move into this house, there, you know, not only is this demon book left there, but so are like some of their old photos and stuff of what went on. So it, it, it comes back to life looking like those people who are now dead and gone and what have you, uh, which I thought was, you know, a, pretty interesting. Uh, there's a kid in this, and he does a really good job. I got to tell you, but but at times uh, when when they begin fighting the jinn, um, it's almost like a very uh, uh, demented copy of of Home Alone. If you get my drift, here now is a look at. What do you think? When we start thinking about the things we're missing, we forget about the things we have. <laughs> oh. Don't forget to take a shower before bed. I'll be home before you get up. Spooky stuff. <laughs> Let me give you the names of some people involved in this. Uh, the movie was written, and directed, and edited by Justin Powell. Now, he had some help from David Charbemmer. And uh, together, they put together a pretty decent film. Dylan, in this movie, 
is played by Ezra Dewey. The dad is played by Rod Brownstein. And uh, the mom, slash the gin is played by TV Poe. And she does a, a kind of an interesting uh, interpretation in this one as the uh, switching from the loving mother to the, to the demon possessed in this. Uh, and as I said uh, in the last segment, Ezra does a nice job as Dylan in this. So it turns out to be a pretty decent uh, horror flick. It's got a little bit of uh, something for everybody. So you're, if you're into the gore, there certainly is that. If you're into the supernatural, naturally. And if you're into, you know, uh, demons and spirits and stuff like that, it'll have that for you as well. Not a bad look. And this comes from our friends at IFC Midnight. Now, IFC <clears throat> has pretty much built a reputation on putting out some uh, Class A independent films. But their IFC Midnight uh, division uh, specializes in the weird and the horror films and what have you. Uh, and I'll tell you what, they've put out some pretty decent things. I think they can add this to their uh, collection and it will be uh, a, a welcome addition uh, to their video bookshelf. The movie is called The Gin. And now that you have learned what you have learned, don't open any books with pentagrams on them. Here endeth your lesson. <laughs> 